Hey guys, so this is the season finale of Siren. Hey. Two Jakes. This is Siren, episode 10, Aftermath. He's here to help you. Look at me. I am here so no one will hurt you. We had to do something. We don't need to talk about this right now. Ben tried to help us. But he didn't, did he? He tried. I love that it like happened all around that statue. You gotta be kidding. I think that's pretty interesting. How many? Sang a song before to me. Could you do it again? Your voice is so beautiful. You need to leave. I just need to hear it once. It's she sang to you to escape from you. Not because she loves you. So it has something to do with love. I'm guessing. Sister Ren, what's between you two? What do you mean? Ren said her sister doesn't love me. Why would she sing? Why would she draw me to her? I don't know any more about it than you do. You seem to. I just need it one more time. I saved your life. Maybe you can talk to her for me. So it's like a drug. I don't hear it again. My microphone has been off this entire time. It's okay, my screen record picks up voice. So hopefully I can do that. It might sound fuzzy, but... And you taught me how to fight and be strong. You have strength. Of that? I had to say that. I'm going to make it up to break your promise. Let's go on. Look, I already blew it all. <laughs> How on what? It was a wardrobe. It was a man dream. You're happy? So he blew it on an engagement ring? Oh. Don't you think if I. Look at her breathing up, right? Oh no. Yeah, she's burning up. I thought you said the stems were stuck. helping. They were taken from her in aquatic form. It must be causing some kind of adverse reaction. Oh no. I like, maybe if she takes her to the water, the stem cells would help more. Hey, it's in, come on. She was in aquatic form. I feel like maybe she'll take her to the water just because she probably wants to die in the water. Take her back to the water. No, they will not let her come back as a human. I'm guessing she can't change. I know a place. A place where she can take it. Is this where they killed the child? You know, from the story? Scares tourists away. A lot of people in this town depend on that. Mermaid capital of the world. That's right. Be careful up here. Is it like an underwater pit? What is this place? It's multiple tombs. This is my family's burial ground. But it is for humans. My sister would not want to lay with humans. They're not human, Ren. These are the ones that were killed in the massacre. No. Other is in human form, died in Bristol Cove. She was the first. She was the daughter of Charles Powell and his mermaid. The baby is buried here? Rin told me that Charles killed his child. Oh, no. That may be what your colony believes, but that's not what happened. The baby was born in transition and appeared deformed. The soul caught between two worlds. He brought her to bigger minds than the doctors of Bristol Cove, to people who weren't afraid of shapeshifters. Was she there? Yes. 
she lived. The Haida helped her to complete her transition and she lived for a very long time. I am her last living descendant. And you're one of them? <gasps> That's right. One eighth to be exact. Red, did you know this? Yes. I sense she is one of us. But I did not know the child lived. Can you change? <laughs> no, I'm uh, generations removed from that. So if you're a descendant of Charles Palmer, that means that you and I, they're related. It's not comfortable, but all of us sharing an apartment together. You know, seeing as how you two slept together. I'm with this with you right now, all right? What about our plans? The business, both? Dude, it's in your list kind of falling apart. Sisters, no mama. I'm guessing it's going to be too painful for her to go back. Got my sister. Let's see. It's like the siren song calling him to the ocean, like a dead sailor's. You helped him? Ben was sad. He asked me to sing. It made him feel better. Ben asked you to sing to him? After Sean died? Yes. After a party. My ancestors always said it had different meanings. Great love to some. For others, it could be dangerous. Dangerous how? I just read the books. The solid just called it a euphemism for obsession. We got a 1050 section for the beach. Who are? All we can do. Alden Decker. That's the military guy from last night, right? Yes, it's him. I don't understand. He was just here. How did he die? It looks like a suicide. Drowned himself in the ocean. Took the research boat out? Said he needed to clear his head. But Ring can still sing to him. And she's there. Unlike with Decker, like Donna was dead. Janine, baby, it's all good. 
she's gonna try to catch you with me to make money. News, oh my god. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, uh, I need to speak with one of your editors. I think, uh, I've got a story that I think they're gonna wanna hear. Town Council's up in arms. They're gonna replace me. Can they do that? Yeah, they can. When am I finished dinner? You sit down for a change. Go ahead. They have such a nice father-daughter relationship. It's not so tough. It's nice. <laughs> But did you talk to the editor? I think I am bad for you, so I will stay away. I feel like that will make it worse. I was talking about how they killed uh, Donna. Um, and how she, in my eyes, is, is a major character to kill off because, again, this whole story story started um, with Rin looking for her sister. In the story throughout till the end, it kind of opened and closed the book on, on this overall arc of Donna and Rin. Decker is dead. He killed himself because of the addiction to the song and after Donna died, he wanted to hear the song one last time while she was uh, sick or while she was dying and she didn't want to sing it to him and then she died and he would no longer be able to hear it. I don't know if it was, I thought it was like maybe that thought that he knew he would never be able to hear the song again that drove him to the suicide but then Ben, you know, he Rin is near. He's gonna see Rin again and yet he, he lost it and went into the water looking for her uh, thinking she was there when she wasn't and panicked and looked for her and looked for her until he could no longer um, breathe. Luckily Rin saved him and Rin being able to save him because in the water there are predators and she was able to overcome her natural instinct and save Ben. She cared about him so much that she was able to override everything she knew as this as this creature and you know be human in the fact that she wanted to save him and just because she was in the water didn't mean she was a predator. They uh, didn't really know the siren song was dangerous. I thought maybe it was love, some thought it was danger. Um, you know, in the mythologies, the sirens call the sailors into their deaths, basically, and that's kind of what I always thought of it, but then with how the show progressed, you know, it, it made it like an addiction. I thought it was more like, you hear the song, you follow it. Once the song stops, it stops, but here it is an addiction that they need. When they don't get it, they, they're driven crazy and, and die and can't kill themselves, basically. Xander. I feel really bad for Xander. His life is falling apart ever since he, he found this incredible thing. It was taken by the military. It turned out to be some crazy ass stuff and, you know, he eventually went looking for it and they attacked and his dad died. And now um, he killed someone, like Ben told him that, that Donna died. And that's going to be something on his conscience for a very long time, you know. He wasn't aiming for her and maybe he would have been like satisfied with killing the one that killed his father. But this is completely different because he was not, he didn't want to hurt her. It was an accident and he is partly to blame because he's the one that shot even if he wasn't aiming for her. Ben is also partly to blame because he moved Xander so that he would miss and it hit Donna instead. But yeah, I kind of feel bad for Xander and him and his best friend are having problems. Um, he wants to move in with Janine. Um, 
you know, he already blew all his money and he's, he wants to prove to her that he's capable of providing. He has contacted the media and he's going to go tell them about everything, maybe. Like, we don't know. And that's going to cause a lot of problems. I just don't know what's going to happen with that. I, it sucks that he did that. And luckily, he doesn't know Rin's one of them. So that's good. Another problem that can come with that is the military could come looking for him to shut him up. You know, they want to keep this all on the down low. And he's probably going to say everything about the military and how Xander's dad got killed. Maddie's dad is under, like, they might start investigating him just because of everything that's happened and there's no uh, explanation for it. The council wants uh, answers and unfortunately he can't give those answers unless, you know, he'll sound like he's crazy and they probably won't believe him and they'll probably, you know, remove him as sheriff either way. At the end of the episode we got Maddie's mom. She called Maddie, and I don't know what's going to happen with that. We, we don't know much about Maddie's mom other than she left and she was a drug addict. I'm excited to learn more about that next season. Um, we finally got Helen's backstory. Wow, she's a descendant. She's not 100% one. I think she said one eighth. She's one eighth siren. She had her, her family burial ground, and it is interesting how the story went like the baby was born in transition and he took them to the Haida because with the Haida belief in shapeshifters sh sh and they were more open-minded. He had a chance with them at least to get some help and apparently she lived for a long time and she had kids and Helen's the last of them and Helen hasn't had any kids so I think the line ends there. Unless Helen has a son or daughter we don't know about, which I think would be a very interesting addition to the show. I'm just really glad we know more about Helen. The The song is still a little bit of a mystery. I'm sure we'll learn a little bit more of its effects next season. Rin choosing to stay away from Ben by seeing the problems her song has caused. She didn't know it would have this effect on him. And she probably feels super bad about it. This drove Ben crazy, basically, you know, he, he's addicted to it, he can't get it out of his head, he thought he was hearing it, and he jumped in the water until literally he couldn't breathe anymore. And now him and Maddie are on a, either they're officially broken up, but I think it's more like they're on a break right now. But Ren has decided that she is going to leave Ben alone and stay away from him. And I'm not sure how good that's going to work, especially with, like, so far what we know about the siren song. I don't feel like she's going to be able to stay away from him too long. And I feel like if she does, it will be dangerous. I don't want to say happy. I'm not happy about Donna's death. I'm intrigued by how this is going to affect the, the storyline. Because like I said, we started with this storyline and we saw it to the end, you know, them getting her. And then we saw eventually what happened to her leading to her death next season will probably be more about the song and its effects um, on Ben and what's going to happen with all of that. Maybe we'll know even more about Helen. I'm super excited for next season. I'm very interested in the direction that it's going to go. Basically we're left with Ren's going to try to stay away from Ben. Calvin went to the media. And Maddie's dad uh, might be removed from Sheriff and Xander's in a very tough situation. Uh, and Ben and Maddie are on a break or broken up. I kind of still want to see more, more Siren characters, but I, I want them to be nice. Not like the, the two that, that showed up. Uh, I don't like that Donna died, but from like a writer's perspective, I feel like it's a, it was a very good choice. You know, because now Rin's on her own and she has to deal with this grief of everything. You know, she felt guilty that her sister got caught and then her sister came back to try to get her in the water. And then in this whole fight, her sister got shot and now she's dead. From the writing perspective, it's, it's, I feel like it's gonna lead to a very interesting development throughout the next season. Like her dealing with the grief and everything. It's interesting to see what's gonna happen next. That wraps up Siren, so. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want, and hopefully I'm going to try to start 
other series soon, so if you want to watch that, you can. You can watch The 100, which I react to, and that's my favorite show. It drives me crazy, it makes me cry so much. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys.